Hey guys, welcome to your 8th beginner's Java tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about the else if statement. Now, I have our program here that we made last time. Um, uh, if we just recap, at the moment we have our boolean which is true, and when we run it, it tests this condition, uh, which is true, so it does this, and it can ignore the else statement. But what happens if there are multiple possibilities? that it's not just one or the other. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we're going to um, we're going to delete this that we did last time and we're going to test uh, numbers. So I'm going to make I'm going to make int x which is equal to 10 and int y which is equal to 20. Now we're going to you you don't just have to test uh, booleans in if statements you can test multiple things as well such as numbers and uh, many other conditions I'm also going to make a third int called z which we equal to 30 so now we're going to make a uh, if statement to tell us what to tell us whether what these values are in relation to one another so I'm going to write first of all I'm going to write if and then open and close my block and now in the parameters I'm going to say if x is is greater than y and the greater than sign is just um is is the greater than, than sign um so if x is equal to y system out print line x is greater than y and then we could just do our else statement like this else and then uh, print out say um, x is not greater than y, but we want to test another condition within this if statement. So you write else, but then you do space and write if, and what this does is it allows you to test another condition. So if, so it's going to say if x is greater than y, say x is greater than y. If this isn't true, move on to the next test, and that is is y greater than z? And if it is, we're going to system out print line, y is greater than z and then you can do as many if else if statements as you like um, but we're just going to do one for the moment because we only have three uh, integers and then if all of that is full system out print line so in other words else means if uh, if none of these are true then z is the largest number. So now if I run this, uh, now if you remember x equals 10, y equals um, 20, and z equals 30, so at the moment z is the largest number. So if we run this, we can see that z is the largest number. But now I'm going to change some of our um, integers around to make, say, this first statement true. So I'm going to make this 100. So now if we run it, we can see that x is greater than y. Now if I move this down and make y 200, we can see that it ignore we can see that it says y is greater than z. Um and that's because it tests this condition is x greater than y. Well, no because 10 is not greater than 200. So then it says all right, move on to the next one. Else if is y greater than z? Yes, it is. So display this message here. And then if I just delete that, go back to the original one, um, it's going to say, is x greater than y? No. So move on to the next one. Is y greater than z? No. All right, then what if none of those are true? Then just say z is the largest number. And like I said, you can have as many if else, if else, or else if statements, rather, as you like, to test uh, multiple different things or multiple different conditions or other um, but mm, hopefully uh, hopefully this was easy enough to understand please leave in the comments what I could do better or how I could do these tutorials better always open to constructive criticism so um, anyway if you wanna if you wanna continue to see these tutorials please subscribe and I will see you guys next time thanks